here we have the new Toyota 86 we're about to do an audio install. We're promoting the new DB drive range with subs and other speakers. The new DB drive range will be available for long use Australia. The factory door and dash speakers are going to be removed and two sets of 59 range of speakers in custom pods for each door. For this to happen, the power window switches are going to be relocated to the centre console and two pack painted pods will have a new home. The rear quarter has a small set of factory speakers. These will be removed to set way for two 59 speakers. Also, the 59 speakers are component sets, so sound quality will be at its best. These speakers are going to be inverted for visual impact with these chrome magnet and cast frames on show. These two sets of 59 will also be housed in custom pods, finished in two-pack. Moving on to the rear, the back seats will be removed to make way for 4 by 12 inch K9 subs. These monster woofers handle 1000 watts RMS each, so there's going to be a lot of pounding bass. The subs will be housed in fiberglass enclosures right behind the driver and passenger seats. Sorry, no passengers. Moving into the boot, the six digital amplifiers are going to be arranged evenly around the spare tyre well. With lashings of perspex and lead backlighting, the amps of the A5 series, which are small in size but big on power, will be using four mono amps and two four channel amps to drive the complete system. Moving to the boot lid, we're going to run two by seven inch Mongoose DVD monitors and a set of 59 speakers will occupy this space for some audio-visual entertainment whilst at car show and demos around Australia. With the Toyota 86, we began with a strip down of the interior seats, water trims, boot trims, spare tyre and boot lid trims. Then we cleaned all surfaces with wax and grease remover to make sure the Mongoose Q-mat has a good surface to bond to. The Q-mat eliminates vibrations and road noise. Power window switches have been relocated to make way for the speaker pods. We have now moved on to making the custom fiberglass speaker pods. With the front and rear pods and sub boxes all glassed up, we turned our attention to the centre console where we planned the location of the power window switch panel. The console shape was transferred onto our piece of ABS plastic, then the switch panel was plastic welded into place, reinforced underneath and handed to panel shop where it was high filled. We've decided to run with a marble effect in red and black to finish off. All our perspex trim rings are also going to be cut to suit our pods and are going to be back lit with LED lighting. The lighting effect will run on the boot lid, front doors, rear quarters and also the 4 by 12 inch woofers in the back seat. Now with all our fiberglass work done and painted, we have attached our perspex rings and lighting to our pods, tested everything fits and works as planned. Now we have the task of assembling both front door, rear quarters and boot lid panel. While this was being done, our false floor had been cut and trimmed in black carpet waiting for the boot lid of amps to arrive. Once we assembled the front, we turned our focus to the rear of the car. Six amps had to be placed in the boot in some kind of orderly fashion. The boys opted for the simple yet effective angled podium stands which allowed the frosted perspex panel to be showcased in the centre of the floor. This was a different task in itself. We frosted the perspex and had it laser cut with the DB Drive logo, then painted the infill silver. Then a second piece of frosted perspex was edge lit with white LED flexible lighting and placed underneath. This now gives a wide ambient glow from the floor without creating hot spots which would normally be visible. The two large boxes that now replace our back seats were bolted into place. They now hold in 4x12 DB Drive K9 woofers. These chunky, robust woofers not only break out mass amounts of bass, but add in total about 60 kilograms of weight to the back end of our FT86 Toyota. All our LED lighting, which is white and red, is controlled by a 40 amp relay and dash mounted switch, which can be turned off while driving the vehicle around. The boys turned to Bob Jane's at Castle Hill for a new set of wheels, as the old factory wheels didn't cut it. 
set of King branded rooms were chosen with the red and black colour scheme which matched nicely with the red and black marble theme throughout the car and just ties every aspect of the car in nicely. A little DB logo was added to the centre cap to let everyone know just what's hiding inside. Jason from I Do Your Business was then handed the car to add some vinyl wrap to the outside. This was applied to the outside of the vehicle with the giant DB logo which will start on the rear quarter and sound waves will travel towards the front of the car with pure car audio running from rear quarter to front guard. In conclusion, the system tickles the eardrums, shakes the front and rear windows and bruises the kidneys. The system really rocks this little car and the DB brand should really cause a big stir in the car audio market.